From the heartland of America to every nation on Earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Empe Presents and what a program we have for you today. So much is happening around the world. Uh, I tell you, it really moves my heart. And every time Jack picks up the newspaper, he said, see there, that's the uh, name makes a reference uh, to the Bible somewhere. And uh, today we're going to begin the program with him doing this, with him making reference to a special part of the Bible, in fact, Matthew 24. And uh, it all pertains to what's happening in the world. And so, uh, so many of you say, you know, if we want to know what the world is really like, we tune into your program because it's connected with our life on every level. The Lord doesn't overlook one thing, does he? And so, Jack, I'm going to come to you right now and ask if you would take that very important reference, Matthew 24, and if you would, well, quote it. You know, he's the walking Bible. He can quote it for us, okay? I will. And Rex, I want to say something. You've heard me say this before. August the 13th, the Holy Spirit came to the home and said, the Father has sent me to say you have been appointed by him and anointed by me to begin every message with the return of Christ to set up the glorious kingdom of Amen. God on earth. And that's what I'm going to do today. Amen. Well, would you start by All quoting right. Matthew 24, a very important reference in the word. The disciples came to Jesus and said, Jesus, what should be the sign of your coming and the end of the world? Now, that is the wrong interpretation. And guys who don't know the Bible and translated it made a mess. The Holy Spirit wrote this whole book and there were no errors. Thy word is truth. But some guys who wrote the things added to it were ignorant. We've had 11 guys preach the end of the world. The world will never end. The kingdom prayer is, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. How long? Forever. Forever. Now, I'm going to have a message soon where I correct all the errors that have been taught by the guys who don't know their Bibles. Because I have memorized this book and I've gone through it 40 different times and I do know my Bible and that's why the Holy Spirit said you've been chosen to be God's Latter-day Prophet. All right. The disciples came to Jesus and said, what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age of grace, the end of the church age? That the world. Jesus said, many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear wars and rumors of war. See, that you may not trouble. All these things must happen. But the end is not yet. Nations shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall the deliver be afflicted, shall kill you. You shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then many shall be offended, shall betray one another. Iniquity shall abound, and the love of many shall wax cold. Be that shall endure to the end of the church age. We'll be ready, save what? To go into the holy kingdom. And he says, you preach that coming of Christ. Because when he comes, he's going to set up heaven on earth. It's transferred forever and forever, and you'll never die again. You'll be raised from the dead to live there. And you'll never have to worry about that. Oh, I got it. Let's get in. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> well, one of the big signs, friends, is that there would be wars and rumors of wars. And if ever we're living in a day and age in which we see war, we see it everywhere. Every time I pick up the newspaper, you see war. Well, it is certainly pointing to the return of the Lord. And I'd like for you to see a few of those headlines. Wars. Rumors of wars. Assad regime carried out over 300 chemical attacks. Oh, Iranian revolution is thriving amid U.S. failure in the Middle East. You see that? U.S. failure in the Middle East. And then Iran claims to have formula for nuclear bomb. 
Oh, we were trying to prevent that. And then Putin threatens to target the West with new missiles. Boy, can you imagine the de deploying of new missiles here? And then NATO condemns unacceptable Putin missile threats. Well, he's got him. He's going to give threats. Russia, Turkey, and Iran hail U.S. withdrawal from Syria. That didn't surprise me. And then U.S. military conducts observation flight over Russia. We know what they have. And it's bothering us, and so we have been observing them. After Putin's warning, Russian TV lists nuclear targets where? In the United States. Oh, my. Well, one of the targets, of course, is the Pentagon. Another one is Camp David, Maryland. Oh, my word. And then the EU, Germany rejects U.S. call to leave Iran nuclear deal. Merkel of Germany. Disarmament efforts must include China as well as U.S. and Russia. Well, they're building up, too. Top commander, China eroding U.S. military advantage in Asia. Well, of course, if they're building up their efforts. And then Japan grows nervous about the United States. It fears China's advances and America's retreat. I'll tell you. Well, here's something. Jack's intelligence briefing, Russia and the kings of the East. Now, friends, if you do not get this uh, wonderful intelligence briefing, you should really write to the office and see how you can get it. It's so important because in this particular one, it talks about Russia and China joining together with their nuclear bombs. The last one, the nuclear threat. Nuclear arms treaty faces the collapse. And certainly that's what, what we are seeing now, friends. Wars and rumors of wars. Did you ever see anything like that? And yet, don't let your heart be troubled. It's pointing to something that is good, the coming of the Lord. But we need to be aware of what's going on. Jack, I know you have mentioned at home, you've never seen anything like this, wars and rumors of wars. The nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdoms producing famines, pestilences, earthquakes, and diverse things. All the things going on in space just in the last few months. Signs. Jesus is coming. And you know if you're a real Christian, you're going to say, oh, I'll never have it in my time. You backslider. You know what God commands you to do? Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of Jesus Christ, our Savior. You're to be looking for him. And well, the reason you're not looking for it is you're so backslidden, you're so far from God, you don't want him to come. Let's get ready. I'm going today say, prepare to meet your God because Christ could come at any minute to set up that glorious kingdom. I can prove that, and I'm going to be proving it in the next couple of weeks. You know, Jack, I remember talking about wars. Do you remember when the North Koreans said that um, they were developing nuclear weapons that could reach the United States. Well, certainly uh, that really brought attention to all of us. And uh, we were all focused on something. Of course, our president going to meet with Kim Jong-un and trying to make peace with him and stop the development of nuclear weapons. Take a look at this first article that I have for you. Nuclear talks ran a ground before Trump and Kim met. Well, there is a stumbling block because North Korea expected much more in sanctions than the United States was willing to give. Can Trump handle a foreign crisis? Well, he, he certainly had an awful crisis that he had to face over there. How to negotiate with Kim Jong-un? <laughs> no more generalities and sweet talk. You have to come right out and say what you want. Our view in Hanoi, of course, that's in Vietnam. Flattery gets Trump and Kim nowhere, nowhere going on. Our view again, keep eyes on Kim's nuclear threat, not the prize. Nuclear threat, he still is saying they're developing. Nuclear talks ran aground. Well, he's not going to give that up no matter what we say. And then USA Today, Trump's no deal earns mixed review. Well, he said he had to walk away. 
U.S. and North Korea trade blame. They say, you're to, you're to blame. No, you're to blame. You're to blame. No, you're to blame. Well, you know, friends, certainly our president had an awful lot on his shoulders when he flew uh, to Vietnam. I trust that he was in your prayers. And we need to keep this in our prayers. But I remember Jack saying to me, Rexella, it's not going to work because North Korea will not be on the side of the United States in the greatest battle ever. Is that what you said to me, Jack? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, 65 years ago, I went to 800 different churches for one week apiece all through America and Canada. Then I went to Europe. I went to South America. I went to the Panama Canal. I went to Hawaii, everywhere. And I preached this message 1,100 times, the coming war with Russia according to the Bible. And no one's ever disputed me. And you can still get that record, as you'll see at the end of the program. It's the most important thing you get. We're almost giving it away. The price is so low. And you're going to see all the headlines we've given, proving everything I said. That's what the second and third uh, tape is about. You get it all for one low price. And you will see what Van Impe said 65 years ago has happened for right to the letter for every country. That's why God, the Holy Spirit, said, you're the prophet. You know that Bible. Now, study Ezekiel chapter 38. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog, the Russian prince of Meshach and Tubal. Meshach became Muscovy and Moscow, and Tubal was southwest of Siberia. And then he names all the other countries. And the Bible says that the kings of the east are going to join with Russia. Mm -hmm. That's all. China and the Orient. And I really respect President Trump. Yeah. He's done a great job. And he's got a great vice president with him, Pence, who's a born-again Christian, loves God. If he ever has to take the place, you'll have one of the greatest Christians this world's ever seen. He knows his Bible. He's holding Bible studies in his home as a vice president. Now, I don't know how much he knows about this subject. But I hope he'll bring this to, to Trump's attention. In fact, Rexel, the things I'm going to offer today is going to be sent to President Trump and President, Vice President Pence this week. Wonderful. Why? It says Russia is going to march in the latter years and latter days. I did the book of Daniel and the book of Re Revelation. It's my Bible every single thing about what's going to happen when Russia makes the move. Germany's going to be with them. Turkey's going to be with them. Countries from all over the world, the Eastern Bloc nations, all the Oriental nations. It's armies like you have never seen. It's going to cause a river of blood hundreds of miles long in a holy land. And over 200 million will die in the battle of battles. And it's going to take when Christ comes back with his people from heaven. For they were raptured, but moved out. Come up hither. Why? He said, I'm going to keep you from that terrible hour that's coming on the whole world. You won't be here for World War III. You're going to be with me in heaven. Oh, yeah. And yeah. during that time, he's going to give us all our rewards. Yeah. Now, oh, I'm going to talk about that very soon the five great crowns we're going to wear. And at the end of that, seven years, he comes back. <clears throat> Jesus said, when I go away, I'm going to prepare a place for you. You know what he's done in the last 2,000 years? He's built the holy city. And it is 1,500 miles wide, long, and high. It is so huge it can house every human Christian being a Christian that have ever been born. And when he says, come up hither, we're going to go up in the twinkling of a light, 11 one hundredths of a second. You know how far the third heaven is? Oh, get ready for a shock. 
we could prove this. My great guy that works here for me, Ken Vance, was a master at this. He measured it all out for me. The third heaven, there's the atmosphere, there's the stratosphere and the ionosphere and kept going. It is exactly 187 trillion billions <laughs> of a mile. And we're going up in 11 watts hours a second. Boy, that's going to be some ride. You know, <laughs> this same guy, Bansel, he's afraid of flying an airplane. <laughs> I'm going to be, he's going to be hanging on my head while we go up together. Well, you've you got some good sense. <laughs> but, are you listening? Here's how near it all is. It is about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. The next few weeks, I'm proving from this holy book. Prophecy, I've preached it all my life. The first message I ever preached, probably I've never changed a thing. There are 10,385 prophecies in here. I've got them all marked in my Bible, color-coded. A couple weeks from now, I'm going to offer a packet that's going to startle you because you'll be able to get all 10,385. You'll know where to look. Every single prophecy is fulfilled. There's nothing left. We're going up. You better be ready. Yeah. Quit playing double standards. Quit running these filthy movies. Quit playing with sex toys. Quit desecrating the Lord's day, breaking the commandment. Live for the Lord. He's coming. You're okay. going to give an account. Okay. Now, after he rewards them, and it's a seven-year thing, we've been away because that war lasts seven years. He returns. And what shall be the sign of your coming? As the lightning comes from the east to the west. The twinkling of an eye. He comes, and they're coming in that great ship. Tons with every human being that's ever been saved in heaven on it because he's transferring heaven to earth forever. Amen. And that's what the Holy Spirit said you got to do for the second message, setting up the kingdom of God forever on earth. And I'm going to have Rexella very soon quote that whole there. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That's it. That kingdom is getting ready to come because the church is going out as we're going to see. The end of the church age is the rapture. We're gone seven years. Hey, is not a good time for the church age to end? Dispensation number six. Who's going to be here to preach? No one. Every church is going to be closed. It lasts 2,520 days and he returns. But we don't know the day and hour. Near? Yes. How do you know near? Why don't we know the day and hour? Because you have the leap year days. But when you hit 2,520 days on your calendar, if you're left behind, you know that within maybe the next five days, you'll be here. That's how near it is, ladies and gentlemen. The second coming of Christ. Oh, no wonder, he says, looking for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of the great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And when he gets here, the battle of Armageddon, Revelation 16, 16, is just being concluded. But millions and millions have died. It's going to take seven months to bury the dead as they clean up. They're getting everything cleaned up to settle here on earth in that great thing, plus whatever they may build in housing in the future. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this. Not only does he keep us out of the war by the rapture, but he comes after it's all finished. And when he gets here, it's ending, and he says, don't worry, you are raised from the dead. The dead raised first and then the living. The corruptible or made incorruptible and the living receive their new glorified bodies. And all of you shall live forever and forever and forever. And that's what's called the second death. And he says, on you. Now that you've been in heaven, now that we're setting up, the second death has no power. Think of we're going to live in that glorious heaven and earth city forever and forever and forever, and you can never die again. No hospitals, no funeral parlors. No <laughs> services for the dead. Amen. Gone, finished forever. 
Okay, Dr. Whoa, that was really a great message. And, uh, you know, it's wonderful to know that we have a good message in spite of everything going on in the Wild world. Fire for Jesus. Yes, He's ab- coming soon. Absolutely. Well, you know, speaking about threats, our president's very concerned to get that wall up because drugs are coming through, terrorists are coming through from Mexico. And here you see it playground politics, why Trump and Pelosi can't reach a deal on the wall. Well, the president made it very clear he's going to do this, and the Pentagon defends diverting funds for the wall. They are standing behind the president. They're going to pay, help well, pay for it. Yes, the Pentagon. Absolutely. Well, you know, another threat that we have that I would like to emphasize right now before I go to Jack. Persecution of Christians is set to rise when, in 2019, Christians are being driven from North Nigeria by Islamist militants. Christian group Boko Haram raised at least 1,125 churches since 2009. Communists moved to annihilate real church in China. Oh, on this one, pastors in China prepare to lose their lives for preaching the gospel, defying communist crackdown. And Rexella. And one more dear here, doctor. 245 million Christians facing extreme persecution worldwide, and this next one says it all. Well, wait a minute. This, they haven't heard anything. This is the most tragic thing we've ever heard. They're going to kill millions. Fifty nations on earth. Read it, Rick. Yes, well, I want to put the picture on right now. World Watch List. And I'd like for you to see where the 50 countries are where it's most dangerous to follow Jesus. You know, number one on this list, North Korea. And, of course, there's Pakistan, Iran, Syria, Iraq, and there's Vietnam, Turkey, and, oh oh Mexico. That's what Trump's worried about. Yes, there you go. And United Arab. There, there are 50, 50 places where it's so dangerous to be a Christian. Friends, the persecution of Christians. Oh, Jack. Oh, you know why? Because they hate Jesus. The Muslims said we're going to kill more Christians and any other nation in ours, we got 47 denominations. We will kill probably 200 million ourselves. Why? You shall be hated of all nations for my sake, Jesus said, because they hate me. And you know what Islam teaches? There are eight times in the Quran it says, if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, you'll burn in hell forever. That is what 1,700 different cults and 2,500 Fake religions believe everything against Jesus, and now they're going to kill millions and millions of Christians just in a few years. Aren't you glad we can look for the blessed hope and Christ is coming, and we're going up, and we're going to miss it all, and when we come back, that crowd's finished, and we set up the glorious kingdom forever. Peace, peace. Don't you want to be there? Pray this prayer then. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, shall be saved, not only spiritually, but from all this mess. Say it, Jesus, I want to be ready for that great rapture. I want to escape that terrible time of war and then the terrible time of killing of Christians globally by people from 50 nations and 47 Muslim nations. Oh, Jesus, save me. I'll be ready for that great day when you come back and set up the kingdom of heaven and earth. Looking forward to Jesus. Now come into my heart. I receive you. In your holy name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, why did Jesus die? So that we could pray that prayer, have him as our Savior, and be ready for heaven. You can be forgiven of anything. How good it is to know that when you prayed that prayer, you were forgiven of every sin. Well, let me know. Write to me and I'll send you this wonderful little book at First Steps in a New Direction. If you're on drugs, the Lord will help you to overcome anything in your life that you don't want there, you want to be forgiven of. First Steps in a New Direction. Our mailing address is Jack Benipe Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. And now, friends, you heard Jack speak about the coming war with Russia. Well, he's been talking and preaching about that forever. In 65 fact, the, years. Yes, the first time I ever heard him speak is on here. I, he preached this long before I ever met him. The coming war with Russia, according to 
the Bible. That's the most valuable thing to ever get because I said it and now I got all the proof that what I said 65 years ago is all happening right now, proving God shows me to be a prophet, and I am. Amen. Now, if you'd love to have this, and we'll also include a couple of the programs backing this up, why, please uh, write to us and, or call us, and we'll get it in the mail as soon as we hear from you. Here's our announcer to tell you how you can receive it. Chuck? Thank you, Rexella. Oh, my friend, to order. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JBI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $29.95 to Jack Vanapy Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $29.95 to Jack Vanapy Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Now, once again, here's Rexella. Thank you so very much, Chuck, and I just really want to encourage you to get our wonderful offer of the week, The Coming War with Russia. You know, Jack gives a message on here, like probably you'll never hear. It is so thorough. I'm telling you, uh, the first time that I ever heard him speak about this, I was singing at the church that he was speaking, and it was something because the, the whole church was amazed at what they heard about this war with Russia. And as I mentioned, we will also be including a couple of our wonderful programs that go along with this. Everything that we've been giving you lately backs this up. All the many uh, signs of the coming of the Lord all go here, right along. Yes. Every nation. It goes right we along with this. We can go home this. tomorrow. It's that near. It's that near. It get certainly ready. is. So make the call or write and we'll get this in the mail as soon as we hear from you. It's very important that you have this so that you know what's going on in the world. I want to leave you with a wonderful, wonderful thought for the day. The way to respond to temptation. Have you been tempted lately to do something you know you shouldn't do? Will make you or break you. Oh, how we need to be walking with the Lord. And you know how true that is? We all face temptations and whatever yours is, the Lord will walk with you and help you to overcome anything in your life that you don't want there. And I'll tell you one way that will help you a lot. The Bible is bread for daily use. Be reading it every single day, friends. Not cake for special occasions. So be reading the Bible. It will help you to overcome every temptation. We'll look forward to uh, being in your home again next week. And always remember, God cares for you. So do we so very much. Bye-bye. The preceding program was sponsored by the partners of Jack Vanapie Ministries.